Hans, tell me what's the, what's the principle of the archive. Yeah, so we're here in the uh, first presentation of uh, videos and documents from my archive. Maya Hoffman invited me to present uh, different exhibitions uh, in different chapters, really, uh, from my archive. And of course, in the center of it are conversations, the films, because I have about 2,000 hours no, of conversations. And we thought to begin with Edouard Glissant. So it's a presentation of uh, all the conversations with Edouard uh, about concepts like mondialité, uh, about concepts like realization, about the archipelago. Which is very important for this place. Exactly, because Maya's vision from the beginning uh, for Luma Al was that it's an archipelago. And that's of what course... What are you doing for Luma? Uh, I've been part uh, for many years of the of the core group and uh, of course uh, uh, also the archive being here um, spend uh, a lot of time working on on the archive and the idea is that um, uh, we're gonna um, uh, here with Eduard Glissant also show posters artists have been commissioned to do posters in homage to Eduard Glissant so we have Julie Meretu, Asad Raza but can you present. explain can you explain the principle of archipelago adapted to Luma? Yeah. In few words? So the archipelago is basically uh, one of Glissant's key ideas and he was very inspired by the archipelago of course, the Caribbean, Martinique, surrounded by many other islands, and he says um, the identity uh, can actually change in the exchange with the other without losing one's identity. The identity becomes more complex. And he was saying that uh, of course the archipelago can be a model. It's not the homogenized idea of a continental uh, logic, but it's an idea of generosity, of exchange. And it's, of course, interesting to think about that in relation to an art institution, because in a way, there are so many exhibitions and projects which open, uh, so many projects which are part of Luma Al, but we cannot say that there is one central exhibition around which everything clusters. But, you know, each of these exhibitions is, is an important island and they're all connected. So that's kind of the idea. So it's kind of uh, the organized disorder. I would say it's, um, um, it's also the idea of um, uh, a polyphony of many languages. Um, Glissant, of course, organized famously in Paris these evenings of, uh, you know, poetry readings in many languages. It's also the celebration of multilingualism, as he said. And then, of course, the idea also of where he's very inspiring, Glissant, which is another, I think, important chapter of uh, the presentation here, uh, where Glissant is very inspiring is also in his approach to, to globalization, because he was always saying that we live in a world where we have homogenizing forces, and that means that differences disappear. But he says also that there will actually be a sort of a counter reaction, he predicted, no? Uh, with new forms of localisms, new forms of nationalisms. So that's why we had, he said we need mondialité, we need a global dialogue which uh, listens to the local. And of course, um, it was fascinating last year uh, when at the Luma des Bernard Stiegler was here, he said, Comment peut-on être local sans être localiste? And yeah. that's very much something, you know, Edouard Glissant could also have asked. We were also excited that here the drawings are actually shown of uh, Edouard because he um, occasionally would make drawings of these different concepts. So we can see a whole series of drawings he made into his books, uh, also of his institute. Because one of the things which is key that he wanted to do an institute, he wanted to build his own museum for Martinique. Ah. And that is really fascinating because he worked on it many years so as a public intellectual. He wanted to somehow conceive of a museum with artists like uh, Wilfredo Lam and Mata. Hans, when you begin speaking about Edouard, you never stop. But <laughs> speaking more generally about the archive, why are your archive important? Um, I mean, the idea has always been to record, to listen also. It's about listening uh, and then, you know, record conversations with artists. And of course, very often I would speak to artists again and again over the and years. And not only to artists. Yeah, also to philosophers, scientists. I think if you want to understand the forces effective in art, it's important to understand what's happening in philosophy, what's happening in literature, what's happening in music. But when the archives are so big, you are lost in them. How can you find something? I mean, it's all on the cloud also, the conversations, they have, all been, really? they have been digitized. But I really have to thank Jonas Mekas because at the very beginning, when I worked as a curator and just began to do the first shows, uh, I was in a cafe in Paris uh, with Jonas Mekas um, and at that time, I mean, it was sort of uh, 
more than 20 years ago, not, uh, not so many people were filming or, you know, making f pictures as today because we didn't have these mobile devices yeah, yeah, so yeah, easily yeah. on the phone. And, and so he said, you know, why are you not recording your conversations with artists? Because one day, you know, you're going to regret not to have a, a trace. And he was sitting in his cafe in Paris, you know, with his camera filming nonstop. So he said, you should just do the same. And so, so was his advice, you know. So if I want to hear the archive about you interviewing Jonas Mekas, I can find it here? Uh, for the moment, it was always inaccessible because, of course, it's, uh, it's been, you know, um, put on the cloud, it's been archived, it's been digitized. But can I have access to it or not? No, for the moment not, because that is the whole idea of the archive is that little by little with... Um, Spread um, uh, gradually. Gradually subtitle it. Uh, and, okay. and work so on it's it. huge work, and, right? Uh, it's a lot of work, and that's of course what has happened here with, uh, um, uh, with the Glissant. So Glissant is the first.